Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here with T-Game and Tech, and today we're going to be going over the app Falcon Pro, which is a Twitter client for Android devices. And I used to just use the, base, the basics Twitter client, uh, the one that actually comes from Twitter, but Austin from Duncan3303 here on YouTube suggested Falcon Pro, and I've been thoroughly pleased with it. And so in this video, we're just going to go over it and whether or not it is worth your dollar and three cents, which is what it costs in the Play Store. And so when you open it up and after you sign into your actual Twitter account, you see your timeline and it has the person, their profile picture for their Twitter. And then if there are pictures, it often expands those tweets so you can actually see the pictures and what the people are talking about. It doesn't do that with videos. The videos don't expand, but if it's a picture, it does expand. And so up here at the top, we have our main feed, which is, which is where we are at right now. You can also click here to check out your mentions. And you can click here to check out your direct messages. And uh, that's nice. I like it. It's all in one area. If you want to actually tweet, you just hit the button right here. And you can say, um, what am I going to say? Tweeting. Tweeting. And I'll tweet just like that. And it will say tweet was successful. If you want to reply to tweets, all you have to do, if you have a mention, just click on the tweet. You can click here to reply. You can retweet, favorite it, or share it. And so right here you see I have four. I mean to click on that. Right there I have four. Um, it's saying that I have four new tweets in my feed. So I can either scroll up one by one and you can see them or you can just press here at four and it'll take you to the very top. If you swipe to the right, you will find uh, your list if you have any lists and then it'll show you the world trends and then it'll show you local trends. And I like that. And the actual Twitter client, uh, the native one, it's a, kind of a workaround just to get the trends. All you got to do here in this app is just swipe over and there's all the trends. If you swipe to the left or if you press this menu button right here, it takes you to your profile, um, your follow, who you, follow, who you are following, your followers, your timeline mentions. You can access everything here as well. Um, as well, if you can access your mentions here or you can access them right here, both take you to the same spot. And so I'm glad to give you a couple of different ways to reach different destinations within the app. I had to change the settings around a little bit because at first it was just showing me tweets of every single tweet that's on my timeline. I was getting like notifications like every second, but you can actually change that in here. You can change what you get notifications for, how often you want the push notifications to come, what you want to sync, what you want to leave alone. And so after tweaking it a little bit, the notifications work pretty good. Um, it is a little bit delayed sometimes, but overall they are relatively instantaneous with actual Twitter, but you might want to change some settings that way you're not getting notifications every time somebody tweets. So overall, I really like this Twitter client. Like I said before, all I used was the native Twitter client from Twitter. I haven't ever really used anything else before, but I really enjoy this. It's kind of a more dark theme app. Um, some people might not like that. I, for one, enjoy it. I think it looks really nice. It's sleek. It's quick. Um, it doesn't drag on. There's no lag. Everything's fairly quick. Right there, you see it has three new tweets. It popped up, that little pop-up right there. I have another mention. So overall, I think it works very well. I'm not really sure why it costs a dollar and three cents in the Play Store. I don't know why they just don't make it 99 cents. I think it'd look more appealing, even though 99 cents and a dollar three isn't really that big of a difference. But for that price, I would highly suggest it if you're looking for a really solid Twitter client for Android devices. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, it helps the channel. Also, check out some of my other videos here on this channel and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. Also, check out my social links that are all in the description below. So thank you guys for watching this video and we'll see you guys in the next one.